but it's not just like 3D printing on your bamboo or your Ender 3. Like you're actually using, you know, using this to print an Inconel. Mm -hmm. So it is a, uh, Inconel is an interesting product or an interesting material. So can you speak a little bit to that? So very first jet engines out there, you know, end of World War II actually had issues because the materials used, that engine is just wearing itself out. Uh, and think of it this way, in very simple terms, you know, steel's great on its own, something like a 17-4 stainless steel, uh, very strong, uh, really hardened as well. But think of it as a, a horseshoe, and you put it into the furnace, and you get it glowing red hot. If you do that with steel, it becomes malleable. If you do it with ink and L, uh, it kind of laughs at you. And uh, if you pound on that steel horseshoe that's glowing red, uh, you'll deform it. Obviously, it becomes softer to work with whereas ink and all retains the strength. And so it's an awesome material, it's not fun to machine, but from a muzzle brake standpoint or a suppressor standpoint, I can't name a better one. So yeah. uh, when it comes to printing that, uh, it's, it's obscenely expensive um, to work with. It's not cheap any way you slice it, but it's so efficient, it, well, we ended up having to 3D print it really. 